We're now going to be talking on the telephone now, all about a book around the uh, island. Uh, firstly, thank you very much for joining us. Would you be able to uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, firstly? OK, yeah. Um, my name is John Chavot ross um, I work at, in, a, in a dock as a manager. It's my full-time job, but um, I do a bit of part-time artwork, which I've done all my life. Um, but recently... Uh, people have been showing a lot of interest in what I do, so I've um, produced a book of, of some of my paintings, of, of predominantly around the island, is what I paint, the old scenes from around the island. What sort of style would you say your paintings uh, were in, and what, what paint do you actually use? Um, I do all sorts. I've got, um, I, like, I like oil painting best, um, but I also do watercolour, pastels and pen and painting and an ink and, and, and mixed with watercolour as well. So I, I do a bit of everything. Now this um, book that you've um, produced, um, can you tell our listeners a bit more about it and what it, what it is in it? Is it purely your paintings or is there writings with the, the paintings? Yeah, it's, um, well this is the second book I've done. I did one last year as well, but it's um, predominantly paint, different paintings and pictures that I've I've done, um, and it's an A4 uh, book, and beneath each picture there's a little explanation of what what it is I've, I've drawn or painted, and um, a little description of it. But, um, largely, the paintings speak for themselves, really. So, are all the paintings um, of present times, or do you sometimes paint a scene of the island as though it was years ago? Um, Mostly it's um, it's old painting, so I've, I've taken old photographs and things like that um, and just drawn that scene and then painted it. Now, some of it I've, I've researched what colours things were like. I've got some of the trams and, and GNS High Street, uh, so I've researched the colour of that and what colour the, uh, the clock used to be and that kind of thing. Um, but mostly, mostly it's old, old paintings of, of, um, of the island. So it is the history side of it that, that interests you and you're capturing it through um, painting it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I, I love the old, the old uh, pictures, you know, the postcards and the, the photographs. Um, like Trevor Edwards puts a lot of them online. I, I love looking through those and um, I thought, well, it would be nice if I could add some colour. So I literally drew out the scenes and, and, and coloured them in. I did one of the town clock with a tram on a rainy day um, about just over a year ago, and um, I put it on the Facebook history page, and the response I got was, <laughs> was tremendous. So people just kept asking me for more. So, so that's that's what I've been doing, really. I was going to ask actually, why did you decide to put your paintings uh, in a book? Because you know you often think of them being in a gallery or even uh, online. So how did it come about that you put yours in a book? Um, basically, because. Um, you know, where, where I've been putting them on the history page, um, a lot of people ask, am I going to do a card or, or a book or something like that? So I thought that it might be a good idea just to collect them all together and, and put them in a book. And um, so that's what I did, and, and I've had a good response. And a lot of people have, have been buying the book. Um, so I'm very pleased with it all, really. Well, I assume it's uh, going well to have done your, your second book. It uh, must be a, a, a way people like to look at your stuff. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, I've sold some of the original paintings, but the, you know, um, people are really pleased with the response I've had from well, both books. It's, it's been tremendous. It's, um, it's the first book I sold over over 200 copies of, so I'm not very pleased with it all. So where can people actually uh, get your book? Other than that, if you contact me on Facebook, um, I can make arrangements to, to collect a book from my house or um, I could even deliver them to wherever. Um, you know, some, a lot of, I'll get a lot of um, calls from people that don't live, that come from the island but don't live in the country anymore. So I've sent books all over the place, Australia, America, France and Germany. Well, it certainly sounds like it's uh, going well. Um, if people would like to find you on uh, Facebook, what actually should they search? Um, you can even look at my main page, which is um, John Giro Ross or Giro Ross Artist, and either of those. Um, I've also got a web, uh, 
or in our email, which is zero ninety six at googlemail dot com. Um, so they can contact me through that as well. Well, if you're happy we've uh, covered it, I think I'd like to thank you very much for telling the listeners uh, all about your latest book, Around the Isle of Sheppey. Yeah, that's great. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for speaking to me. Great. Thank you.